special edition of the Shetty Manifesto podcast on the 3rd of February. We're at Icebreaker Festival today. We're actually at Sam's house right now. Sam's house. And we're going to open his freezer door and Icebreaker Festival. With <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like the, the champagne on the ship, but it's just opening a freezer. Yeah. Yeah. Opening a freezer and then slamming a magnet into it. And then there's loads of tiny little bands inside that start playing. All at the same time, it's chaos. <laughs> Have you noticed that Sam's moved, the, closed the Ferrero Rocher and moved them? Oh, yeah. Out. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I mean, he, he did do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's not joking that that action was what I did, but I meant no malice in it. Me, <laughs> Ferrero Rocher is, is yours. You meant no phallus in it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, my mistake. Um, there's no I, I think no fallacy. Oh, there might yeah, be sorry, a fallacy. No, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. I thought, when you asked for a Ferrero Rocher, I just saw it. <laughs> you can have one, but it, you should have no phallus with it. <laughs> Unwrap them all till you yeah. find the phallus. A <laughs> wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Who's under the table? John o- open them all and then perform a rap about your phallus <laughs> oh that's the podcast cool. yeah. Yeah. That's, that's that Thanks, guys. next yeah. I'm having a I'm having a elderflower gin and tonic elderflower gin because I'm secure <laughs> secure I've that's secured it, secured it into my glass I'm securing it into my body and I'm going to feel so secure when it's done Except when you're crying into one of our shoulders. Yeah, gin does make me cry, but I feel like it's what you need to get that stuff out. You know, gig day is an emotional time. Is that an actual thing? Because I've never really felt sad on gin before. No, I tend to feel amazing. Just makes me like better at drums, more sociable. All around nicer person, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, if I don't have it, like if I go to work without having it, then I'm not as nice. (laughs) <laughs> People know your teeth aren't as white and spun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that while looking at my mouth. Yeah. Why is he always sopping fizzy water with a slice of lemon? <laughs> only, only clapped his heels together once when he jumped into the water. <laughs> <twice. laughs> is there something wrong Sam <laughs> you seem troubled <laughs> no I don't like single clack Sam one bit so Sam is there anyone you're specifically looking forward to seeing at Icebreaker today yeah I'm really excited about seeing the band after us Van Gosh cool. I don't know if we've talked about them actually it's weird because um, uh, I went to um, visit a guy on my team teach some kids the other day um, called Will a bit of a legend and uh, he was like oh I'll see you Saturday and I was like Will you? Ah! And he was like, yeah, of course I'm coming to see Machete Icebreaker. Pirate Will. Um, Pirate Will. <laughs> he does look at, He used to have dreadlocks. Now he has no hair, but he used to have dreads and he looked very piratey. Yeah. Wow. Pirate Will. We might have to get him involved. And uh, anyway, I said, um, yeah, the band playing after us, Van Gosh, and he was like, I know them very well. And it turns out that he's like cousins with one, like the others is like auntie's niece and the other one's like, you know, you know whatever it is. Yeah. Stepdad's goldfish. And um, so Will's very connected to, to Van Gosh, so maybe we should ask him this question later. But what I love about Van Gosh is that it's not just a gig, you know, it's, it's like a, it's a theatrical performance. Mm. Especially the song where he just gets out his fork collection and, <laughs> and just talks us through the whole connection, <laughs> what each one means to him with their musical backing. Amazing. Yeah, so I hope he brings, uh, the, brings that one out. Yeah, we'll definitely stick around for Van Gosh. Yeah. That would be my hot tip. Sounds like a really good show. I like it when people put effort into a show. Yeah. Yeah. Do we put effort into our shows? I think so. I think so. I think so. We put effort into sort of jiving around and having a good time and just like losing ourselves and pushing it a bit, you know, sometimes. A bit jumping. too far. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, not, it's not easy to jump around and headbang and still play. And still play. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... Because yeah, I don't ever practice in the kitchen, like. Yeah. <laughs> and the songs aren't really exactly easy songs to play, anyway, are they? So. Yeah, we have to concentrate quite a bit, but it's it, it, there's definitely moments where it's like almost built into the riff. Yeah. Yeah. You can't bobble on with it, but and the do 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 um, when it kicks in for One Eye King in the chorus, that's a jumpy part. But I, like, <laughs> I can only jump for so long, and just sort of stop and play. And yeah. Really, I should. So maybe save it for the climactic yeah. moments. Do you ever then feel like you stop jumping and you're like, oh no, I'm letting the show down. 
people will notice that yeah. I've ceased jumping. Yeah, all right, so, all right, single clap, Dom. You haven't had your gin and tonic this morning. Um, yeah. I feel like there are points in the, in the gig where Brother John has to choose between playing the right notes and displaying frantic energy. And he usually chooses to just jump off the stage. Does he play wrong notes, does he? I've, not, I've, only, I've heard he does. I've not heard he does. <laughs> is it welcome to the special 33 hour episode of the Machete Manifesto it's 33 okay. hours long strap yourselves in you're going to be here till tomorrow okay. yeah I wonder why I was strapped in already <laughs> <laughs> prisoner in my own home that's fine it's okay I wouldn't want to go out and go to a great festival play a gig with Machete <clears throat> yeah so that's a pretty nice set list we got going on Machete, one-eyed, claustro, moose, nana, coro, cancan. Coro, cancan. Coro, cancan. I'm concerned by the number of cut sounds in the last two songs. Ka, ka, viva, ka, ka, ka. Viva, ka, ka, ka. You remember? Viva, ka, ka, ka. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just wondering when I would have said that around you. Uh, so we were, when we were doing the Patreon, oh, yeah. um, we were recording personalised videos for people that paid us money. Um, yeah, okay. Pre-ordered stuff, and we were, and uh, you just, I just remember the cat. Yeah, cat. there's a bit of an inside joke because she always hated that, so I thought I'd do it as a <laughs> treat. <laughs> yeah, well, Vivica, I'm sorry for reminding you about that on this podcast that you're listening to. Definitely listening to. She's almost certainly listening. I'm sure my sister will be listening. Shout out to Charlie, Charlie Braun. Charlie Braun. Charlie Braun. Charlie Braun. Do you know we were we were at a gig once, and Brother John thought that you were there, Charlie Braun. It wasn't you, and. He just went up to some random girl and went, Charlie Braun! She almost slapped him. He yeah, actually like, really sounded like John when he said that as well. Oh, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Wow. Hey! I never noticed how similar you two were. We call, I mean, I don't call him Brother John because he's nothing like me. I call him Brother John because he's a monk. <laughs> I, guess I call him Brother John because of his commitment to the cloth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For are the you, scripture he writes. Are you currently <laughs> writing down the chords for Can Can on your set list? Yes, sir. Just so I can remember. <laughs> yeah, you know when you confidently said GDHD earlier? Yeah, well, I'll just remind myself. Pretty sure there's no H in there. Yeah. <laughs> Play an H! You should remember that. H for Hallett. Play it! <laughs>
Yeah. Have you got the set list papers? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Should we go right out of the set list? And... We're only playing one set today, by the way. You might need another pen. Yeah, I know. Because uh, selfishly, they've let everyone else play one set as well. <laughs> so we're going to do... We're going to do one set, yeah. Mm-hmm. They swap. They swap the things around so those curly girlies can get the train on time. Yeah, as soon as they're train home, they can get. Um, yeah, train home on time. Yeah, mm-hmm. so they're playing at like four thirty. Yeah, should still be able to catch them. They're pretty good actually. Intro stamp. Intro yeah. stamp. Intro stamp stomp. Hi, we're the Machete, and this is our opening number intro stamp. Oh, uh, one, two. Oh yeah, and then into. Oh, that's new. Oh no, it's not. Sorry, I thought it said no. Yeah. And in the intro, one eye king, how it's gonna make an introduction. He's gonna introduce the band. He's gonna show. he's gonna read a couple of chapters from his new book. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My life as a professional tennis player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the rise and fall of a racket boy. <laughs> on, what on a it. racket boy, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just me on the front with a, like a busted racket. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a whole page of just <laughs> exertion noises that you've made over the years. Yeah. Ah, ah, <laughs> ball boy, oh. retrieve my ball. Yeah, yeah I want to want to thank everyone who came to my book signing earlier today. <laughs> claw feet. Claw feet. Um. <laughs> a song about how we're all pterodactyls. How does their intro riff from Claustrophobic Feet go?
very... Oh, I don't know what part of you thinks that I would be upset about you eating all my Ferrero Rocher, Dom. Glad to uh, provide such a service. Mm. Oh, no, you go ahead, man. If it helps you concentrate on drawing this penis. So I have a thing where uh, I, w- I won't play a machete gig unless Hallett's drawn a, a penis on. You know, it's a, it's Jeff Goldblum's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but every every um, every gig is a, a really creative creative scene. So this one involving Pino. A number of penises hatching out of eggs. <laughs> yeah, and it says, "Take care, penises hatching." <laughs> Watch out! That like... one looks like a snail, doesn't it? That's what, that's what I was thinking. Like it's falling on its side, and it's now just like oh. sort of slugging its way out. He's gonna need some extra. <laughs> it, 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 it becomes erect. Holds on and then becomes flaccid. Yeah, maybe like a defense mechanism is it just stays hard. <laughs> it stays hard and rolls down the hill. <laughs> and who- oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Did maybe. you. Was that deliberate? No, I literally just noticed it was like that. And I'm like, that's actually perfect. That's amazing. It's like your watch. Closing it. Yeah, that's really good. For anyone listening at home, Dom's got a, a watch hole <laughs> in his hoodie <laughs> sleeve um, so he can check the time slightly more easily than others. I have to get my phone out because I don't wear a watch. But that's okay. You want to intro the What's the time? Moose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, we should probably go to the festival at some point. Moose. Na na. Na 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 na. Na na. Um, Koro Can Can. Yeah. Are we playing Can Can? Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good, 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 good. Cups yeah. and I remember what it <laughs> I made a note to learn G-D, 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 G-D. And then... I love Icebreaker Festival. It's so wonderful to see all of you today. And I just want to say, I love you all. And let's have a boogie together. Hooray for love! Woo! Let's go, let's go better.
I think your penis drawings have possibly you do contribute a lot to this band, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, many facets. The penis, the penis drawings. The penis drawings are up there. They're in the top three yeah. contributions. I know, it's so immature, but it's just funny. Yeah, and yet so mature. That penis looks particularly mature. Like yeah. he's, he's, kind he's of old. He's been through a lot. Yeah, last thing he needs is to miss the bus. I wonder what he's reading. See some young whippersnapper on there. I think he's reading a copy of your new uh, autobiography, the tennis one. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, what was the name of the book? Um, What's that racket? What's that? <laughs> What's that and it's, racket? it's you holding a, like a flaccid tennis racket. <laughs> yeah. And, and missing the bus. <laughs> and it's going to be so meta and then that's going to be on there. And then, oh man. Yeah. Sorry, I got really excited about that. I must remember to... Oh, here's the lid. I must remember oh. Well, well, well. Well, you regurgitated it with... Fine style there. Look who didn't steal the Ferrero Rocher lid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the toilet. Is this What's about the lid? Not that Sam falling down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much everybody, love you all, have a great night, yeah? Woo!